In this scene, we will add AR components and access the device camera to scan the real world. After importing the AR packages in the Unity, we have extended the Unity editor. Now we can see a new option under the game object. To add our first AR game object, that will be AR session origin. To add it, go to game object, XR and click on AR session origin. And it will be added to our hierarchy view. And now click on AR session origin game object on the right side. The purpose of AR session is to transform trackable features such as plane surface feature points into their final position, orientation and scale in Unity scene. Because AR device provide their data in a session space, which is an unscaled space relative to the beginning of the AR session. So the basic use of AR session origin is to perform the appropriate transformation into the Unity space. AR session origin is also allows you to scale visual content and apply an offset to the AR camera. If you're scaling or offsetting the AR session origin, then its AR camera should be the child of AR session origin. Because the AR camera is session driven, this setup allows the AR camera and didactic trackables to move together. You can see AR session origin script is attached and AR camera is assigned. That AR camera is going to be work like your device camera. The AR post driver drives the local position and orientation of parent game object according to the device tracking information. The AR camera manager enables features for the AR camera, including the management of the device camera, textures, and the properties that sets the lights and estimation modes. If we talk about the options we have in AR camera manager, first is autofocus, enable or disable the AR device autofocus mode. Light estimation estimates the light properties of the environment. We have a five options to choose. Face direction, control which camera is used for the pass through video. This can be a world or user. On handheld device like the phone or tablet, world refer to the rear camera and user refer to the front facing camera or the selfie camera. If we want the video feed from the device camera to show up as a rendered background of the scene at runtime, we need to add an AR camera background component to our camera. And the second most important component is AR session. Let's add AR session. This AR session is basically giving you the AR capabilities on your device. Any AR scene should have include AR session component. The AR session component controls the life cycle of AR experience by enabling or disabling AR on the target platform. The AR session can be applied on any game object. If you enable the attempt update option, the device tries to install AR software if possible. As we can see on the screen, match frame rate does three things. Log each render frame until the next AR frame is ready. Set the target frame rate, disable VSync. And from the last option, we can select the tracking mode. AR input manager component is required for the world tracking. These two components are the building blocks of AR and these are the built-in components. To convert any simple scene into a Unity AR scene, you can use these two components and they can be utilized in any project. Go to File, Build Setting and switch your project to Android. After switching to Android, go to Project Setting and Player option. To create your first AR Android build, we will make few changes in Player Setting. Here we can see an App Bundle ID, Version, Version Code and select the minimum API level. For now, I'm selecting 26, but for the production, we have to select the higher one. The required minimum API level is 24 and above. To meet the Google Play 64-bit requirement, enable ARM64 and leave ARM v7 enabled to support 32-bit devices as well. For now, we don't need to sign the application, but for the production, it's required to sign the application. And switch your app to the Android if you haven't already. Type in the app name and click save. So we are getting an error while making a build. Let's figure it out. Error is saying Unity have enabled a graphics API which is not supported by the AR core. So we need to figure out where it is. It's in the player setting under graphics API. Let's remove this. As currently Vulkan is not supported by AR core. Let's try again, enter the name, hit save, allow access. Congratulations, you have made your first AR Android build. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture.